In this video, we'll discuss completing the argument planning worksheet. This planning worksheet will help you write the argument paper in the What Do You Think argument unit. Remember that this argument planning worksheet is not due for a grade. If you complete it, it will help you focus during workshop time in class. If you do not complete it, then you'll have difficulty during workshop time asking any questions or receiving any answers. If you followed along with previous video tutorials and class discussion, you should find this worksheet simple to work on. And if you complete it, you should find that your argument paper flows much more easily. You'll find a blank worksheet sent to you through Google Drive. Here you'll see a number of different sections to complete. Claim, warrant, evidence, opposing claim, opposing warrant, counterclaim, paper map, and that's it. In completing this, you should pay attention to the model example, which is available in the bundle on My Big Campus. Let's use that model example as we discuss how to complete the worksheet. The first step is to complete the claim. The annotations here in the model example refer to the first tutorial, writing an effective claim sentence. If you have not watched that tutorial or paid attention to class discussion on claim writing, then do that now. Do not forget that the claim includes an agent, the word should, and a clear action. If you've written your sentence, simply type it here. The next task is the warrant. That comes from argument tutorial video number three. The warrant also includes an agent, the word should, but this time a clear value. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, then once again, refer to that tutorial or pay attention to class discussion. You should have written a warrant by now. Type it into this position here. Third, you will assemble evidence. That means you must do some research. Research, of course, can take many directions. You've done research for this class before. You should be able to start with one article from New Zeela, the article that you were working on for the critical reading assignment. Take that article and include it as well as two other pieces of evidence. When you include the evidence, you should include a link to it right here. The link could be a brief description, KSPR article, New Zeela article, ACLU page. Each of those very quickly describes what the research is. Then, your description involves three sentences. The first sentence summarizes what the article or resource is about. This KSPR article shows how a student group was denied free speech rights. I don't go into great detail. I simply summarize quickly. The second sentence shows how I will use this. I will use it to show how free speech does not harm anyone. That means that I'll use this article in my paper when I'm showing that my argument for free speech will not result in a loss of safety. Finally, I write quickly what type of evidence it is. If you are not sure about the different types of evidence, refer back to the critical reading assignment. There are six. Personal stories, testimony, authority, statistics, definition, and researched facts. List which type this resource is. So, each discussion of each resource includes a link and three sentences. When you've done that, you're good. Do it for all three. If you include more than three resources, you are welcome to, but minimally, you must include three for your paper. The next section is the opposing claim, and that comes from argument tutorial number four. So, if you are looking at the opposing claim, it will include an agent, the word should, and a clear action which contradicts your action above. Refer to that tutorial video for more information. Next, you would include the opposing warrant, again from the same tutorial. You should have written an opposing claim and an opposing warrant at some point. If you've not written them before, refer to that video and its instructions. Write the opposing claim here and the opposing warrant here. Next is the counterclaim. This has not yet been discussed in a tutorial video. We will discuss this during class sessions. Basically, what happens is that you assess the claim and the warrant and consider how you will argue against them. So, if somebody has argued against me that my free speech will decrease safety, I can state that free speech is not harm, it is communication. The school can always protect students, but the two values can be had together.
That means we can have safety and free speech at the same time. This is just a very brief note on how I intend to address the opposing claim and warrant in my paper. How I intend to develop a counterclaim. Finally in the worksheet, I will complete a paper map. When you look at the blank paper map, you will see that it includes 10 steps. The 1st, 5th, 9th, and 10th all include colons. Why? Because they've not been specified in the worksheet yet. So, for my introductory story, I list what I will use for that introductory story. I intend to use the New Zealand article listed in my evidence above. For my evidence here, I intend to use the Tinker v. Des Moines summary listed above. For my evidence here, I intend to use the Woodrow Wilson Pro-Life Group listed in the KSPR article above. My conclusion description includes a little bit about how I intend to conclude this paper. I will explain how students today are adult leaders tomorrow. That's what I intend to do to leave my reader. The positive and very persuasive note that I intend to use to end the paper. Each of these steps are the steps of my paper, and most of them come from the worksheet above. If I've completed this entire worksheet, then I have the structure of my paper already written. All I need to do is take all these notes and put it into paragraph form. Watch the next video on the model example of the argument paper to see how I did it for that example. As you have questions, bring them to class.